You're wired in smallcapvoice.com. Following is a presentation of smallcapvoice.com, today's leader in investor relations, capital formation, and retail support. Now, with your online business briefing, smallcapvoice.com's Stuart T. Smith. Welcome one, welcome all to this online business briefing brought to you by smallcapvoice.com. And as you just heard, I'm your host, Stuart Smith. Welcome back to the show. We appreciate your listenership here at smallcapvoice.com. We are welcoming to the show today, Next Fuel Incorporated. Their ticker symbol is NXFI. And we're joined by Bob Craig. He's the CEO of Next Fuel. Bob, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Hey, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know we're actually catching you between meetings and while traveling, so we do appreciate your time, and it's always great to hear from a busy CEO. So for our listeners who may not be familiar with what you're doing there at NextFuel, if you would, describe the business model and market for us. You bet. NextFuel uh, was formed uh, almost two years ago based around our coal-to-gas technology where we introduced nutrients into coal seams to feed the microorganisms uh, to convert the coal into natural gas. We've been working on projects in China and Indonesia currently, soon to expand to a few other countries. Our business model is based on a service-style business, whereas we don't want to own and operate the assets. We want to work with the owners and operators. And in that style, it allows us to run several projects in several different countries around the world at the same time without having large capital expenditures to, to have to purchase these assets. And so it allows us just to be nimble and, and move at a high rate of speed with respect to new operations and new projects. Our real market is coal owners. Uh, that can be private, government-owned. Either one is fine with us. Um, and we target low-grade coal, such as lignite, in that usually that is a non-economic resource in a lot of situations. And so we're able to help monetize those resources for these owners. Very good. Well, you're our guest today as well as the CEO. Let's learn a little bit about you and your background and any other key members of the management team there at Next Fuel Incorporated. Go ahead, Bob. Sure. I uh, am originally from Houston, Texas. I worked for J.P. Morgan there for several years. I uh, was a vice president in the commercial bank. About 12 years ago, I moved to Wyoming, started my own business in the coal bed methane field, which is where I came across this technology with Song Jin, who was the inventor of this technology. At the time, we thought it was a great way for us to increase production at some point in our coal bed methane field. Um, as the market changed for coal bed methane in the U.S. and we learned more about the technology, we decided that uh, it was a standalone technology and we should change our efforts to try to commercialize that uh, as its own company, which is where Next Fuel came into play. And uh, that's what we've been doing since April of 2011. I mentioned Dr. Song Jin. His background is he's a Ph.D. in microbiology and well-versed in microbes and has been working on this particular technology since around 2001. We are really excited to have him as kind of the leader of our science team. He's also the president of the company and the chief technology officer. And he has especially uh, with his contacts in China. He's originally from China. Uh, he is a U.S. citizen, lived here for about 20 years, but been able to position us well with clients in China, which has been the real growth um, of our operations. Yeah, and we'll get into that just a little bit here when we hit at some of the recent headlines for the news listeners. Well, Bob, if you would, looking back on the year 2012, what do you see as some of the major achievements for the company? Uh, the biggest achievements, uh, as I mentioned, we have uh, projects in China. We um, have a project in Indonesia as well. In both of those areas, uh, in 2012, we moved from the pilot stage of just a proof of concept into actually commercial scale operations. And so we currently have three projects, two in Inner Mongolia, China, one in Indonesia, that are being expanded to commercial size. That has been the real 
push for 2012. And we're very confident that uh, we've kind of hit our stride and are doing well on all three of those projects. That's excellent news for you, the company, and I'm sure the shareholders as well. Well, we're almost wrapped up with 2012. We've got one more month left, December, and then a whole year, 2013, to talk about. What are your personal goals as the chief executive officer for the company in the remainder of 2012 and early 2013? So give us kind of the six-month outlook. You know, as the CEO, my focus is at uh, this time, as our projects are doing well and operationally uh, moving forward, uh, my goal is to try to get a, a better market uh, for our stock and our stockholders. And so we've been spending a lot of time in New York, in California, um, down in Texas now, just meeting with investment bankers, stockbrokers, and, and trying to get the name out and let people know what we're doing. And I think as we move into 2013, that will continue to be my focus, as well as expanding the business as much as we can uh, into some other countries. Well, let's take a look, a deeper look into that project in China by jumping into that press release that came out October 24th. Next Fuel Incorporated initiates work on new projects in China. You touched on it earlier, Dr. San Jin, obviously able to open some doors there in China. Give us the precipice to this and how you were able to get into China and where you see these projects going for you and the company. Go ahead, Bob. The projects currently are in a growth stage, as I mentioned, from going from the pilot to the commercial scale. Uh, the goal in those projects is to get production um, of natural gas from the coal up to a, a level that is both profitable and uh, sustaining. And so we feel like we're on track for that in 2013 in the current projects. We've also, in the press release, outlined that we have a new client that uh, will be beginning operations. We were hoping uh, by the end of the year that still may happen. It could be January, but uh, still moving forward, looking for new clients. As I mentioned, we have that one in the south of China, and also a third client may be coming on as well. So we continue to try to grow our presence in China. And I mentioned I think we'll have some information around some new contracts in new countries soon, too. So the press release was really talking mostly about China and our operations there and how we're expanding. But overall, the company is expanding uh, even more. Well, listeners, in that press release, grab that last paragraph and read it closely. Next Fuel's patent pending CTG technology converts low grade coal, such as lignite, into clean burning natural gas through the introduction of nutrients via a low pressure pumping system to the wide range of microorganisms that naturally exist in coal deposits. Basically, you are taking this coal and you are turning it into clean natural gas. Bob, why do you think the market is in China more accepting of this or more in need of this currently than here in North America? Go ahead, Bob. In North America, certainly we, we have an abundance of gas, which is shown by the gas prices um, here. In some of these other developing countries that are still using the burning of coal as their major source of energy, and as they try to clean that process up, emerging technologies such as our coal-to-gas technology really can play a big role in that. Lignite coal is a huge source in China, but it's also a very dirty source for burning conventionally. And even the Chinese government has been trying to reduce that role of lignite um, from a burning standpoint. So our ability to come in and convert that dirty coal into a clean burning natural gas is really seen as a huge energy input for the country. Well, and some people would call that, and it's a good term, disruptive technology. It's a game changer for the people there in China because this is cleaner. So environmentally, worldwide, this is a game changer. Is that a fair assessment, Bob? It, it certainly could be. There are lignite deposits and coal deposits all around the world. Um, and so certainly that is our target. And we feel like the growth opportunities are immense. 
Well, listeners, Rob Kindle is the person to get a hold of inside the company. He's available at the bottom of the press release, 307-674-2145. You've also got KCSA, Strategic Communications. That's Phil Carlson or Brad Nelson. You can reach them at 212-896-1233 at extension 1217. Well, we've been speaking today with the Chief Executive Officer of Next Fuel Incorporated, ticker symbol NX. FI. This is a company that develops and commercializes clean energy and related environmental technologies. What an exciting interview. Thank you so much for your time here today, Bob. Great luck to you as you continue on the road raising awareness for your exciting young company. Thanks, Bob. Thank you for your time. All right. For Bob Craig, this is Stuart Smith saying thanks so much for listening. Smallcapvoice.com, today's leader in investor relations, capital formation, and retail support, provides its clients with the highest level of service. Our audio interviews are disseminated to one of the largest opt-in audiences available today. How? We at smallcapvoice.com believe in aligning and affiliating ourselves with other leaders within the investor relations community. By sharing resources, each affiliated firm is made that much stronger and each client is served that much better. Our focus is to identify and provide the very best financial services and solutions available to clients and their shareholders. For more information about our services, please call us at 512-267-2430 or visit us on the web at www.smallcapvoice.com. This is a broadcast of smallcapvoice.com a financial communications and investor relations firm. SmallCapVoice.com receives payment for investor relations and financial consulting services that it provides to its clients. You should assume that officers, directors, and employees of SmallCapVoice.com or financial analysts mentioned and their families hold a position and intend to trade in these securities for their own accounts. This is not an offer or recommendation to buy or sell securities. Information in this broadcast is presented solely for informative purposes and is not intended to be nor should it be construed as investment advice. As in all investments, an investment in a feature company carries an investment risk. Listeners should review the company thoroughly with a registered investment advisor or registered stockbroker. This broadcast does not purport to be a complete study of the feature company or other companies mentioned. Information used and statements of fact have been obtained from the featured company and other sources but not verified nor guaranteed by smallcapvoice.com as to completeness or accuracy. Such information is subject to change without notice.